Hey, welcome to 10 Days to Tifos. My name is Seth Perler, and today is day one for 10 Days to Tifos, where I'm going to talk about three relationship building strategies to support your kiddo. And this is also great for any of you compassionate and proactive teachers or therapists that are in our audience with the parents as well. So hello, everybody. Uh, again, my name is Seth Perler with executivefunctionsummit.com. If you like what we're doing, please share the summit around so other people can find us. We have a great lineup this year. And today I'm giving you gift number one, three relationship building strategies. First thing I want to mention in this video is that I want to recommend or suggest or encourage you to try doing these for the next 10 days just to see what happens. Just do an experiment, see what happens. So there are three tips that I'm going to give you. Try them out, see what happens if, if it has a good impact with you and your child or the kids that you work with. Why is relationship so important? Well, it is the essence of life. We are social beings. Relationship, is, to me, is the most important thing in life. I want my students, I want you, I want me to have a great relationships in our life. And what relationship is about to me is about secure attachment. If you don't know what that is, look up attachment theory. You can learn more. There are a lot of people doing great research in the attachment field. But essentially, having relationships with people, whether it's family, friends, teachers, um, auto mechanics, veterinarians, doctors, restaurants, the people that we feel secure around, that we have secure relationships with, we feel safe, seen, known, like they've got our back, like they hear us, they understand us, they listen to us. So we really feel a, a secure sense with the people where there is secure attachment. And that's what we all want is secure. We want to feel secure. So here are three quick tips. If you're taking notes, now's the time to take notes. Uh, first note you can take is on attachment theory uh, to look that up later if you want. The first strategy or tip today is the three to one rule. I talk a lot in my work about the three to one rule because it's so important. It, it's estimated that um, from Karen Tui Boyce, one of our speakers, that kids with executive function challenges tend to hear about 20 to 40 negatives to every one perceived positive. And the three to one rule suggests that we flip that and that we share at least three positives to everyone perceived negative with our kids. And when we're sharing positives, obviously we want them to be genuine. We're not making something up. We are really trying to see them, think attachment, right? To see them for how awesome they are, for their strengths, for effort, to see effort and notice three things and share on those. So it's like, here, I'll give you one right now. You know what? Three to one. I'm just going to give you three. And you don't necessarily do these all in a row, but I'm going to do them in, the row, in a row right now. Three things. One, it is awesome that you are here right now taking the time to invest your time in how to help yourself and help your child. That is a real compliment that I'd be sharing you. Two, the effort that you've taken to help people in the last week. I want to compliment you on that. That's pretty awesome. And three, all of the effort that you've put in in your lifetime to be a great parent or therapist or teacher, whatever you do, everything that built up to that, I really wanna honor you for what it takes to do that. So there's like three examples that may or hopefully are true, but uh, that I'm just giving you quick examples. Number two, number two way to build relationship is called a high-low. I do a lot of different types of temperature checks that I teach, but a high-low is one of the temperature checks. When we, have a person in our life and we are asking them how they're doing we're not just saying how's your day good fine how's school fine but we're looking for more detail and we're trying to really hear somebody a high low is a great way to get real information so that you can really understand see help support a kid the high low is very simple it's doing a high low. hey let's do a high low let's do a high low right now i'm going to ask you the viewer right now what's your high low for today in your life? What is the best thing about today for you? And what has been the worst thing about today for you? Now, after you tell me the high-low, so for example, I might say my best thing for today is creative. I'm creating videos, I love creating. I'm in creative mode, that's the best thing. I'm having a lot of fun creating today. So that's my high. My low today is I had to do a lot of driving today. I don't have any time or to be on the road for 45 minutes, it's stressful to me. So. That is my low for today. So what's your high low? Now, you're going to say this is the high, this is the low, and then I might ask you, after I ask your high low, I might say, cool, tell me more. So if I want more information about the thing, just a very open-ended question, tell me more. And then you can also say things like, oh, wow, that sounds really tough. What are you going to do to solve that problem and how can I help you? 
Or you can say something like, oh, that sounds great. What are you going to do to keep having experiences like that in your life? So things like that. So that is a high-low. The next thing, number three for relationship building, is really to plan and fun. I mean, literally, parents, teachers, therapists, take out your calendar right now and plan in your calendar, in your schedule right now, plan something fun, fun for yourself, definitely fun for you and your kids. Fun. How do you build a relationship with your kids? Fun. One way is to have fun. Play. Get it in the schedule. Do this often. We are so busy nowadays. We oftentimes forget to have fun, to connect, to turn off the cell phones and just like be present with our kids for fun. Do fun things. That is one of the best ways to build a relationship in the world and is to have fun. So what can you plan right now? To, uh, to review, I want to suggest that you try these for the next 10 days. Just see what happens. Try all 10 of these, if you can, or all three of these if you can. This is about attachment theory and building secure relationships. The three to one rule with three positives to everyone perceived negative. The high-low, a temperature check to see how somebody's really doing with open-ended questions and plan times to have fun and connect. Again, my name is Seth Perler with executivefunctionsummit.com. If you like what we're doing, please share the URL with some people today and I will see you August 11th with the experts. Have a fantastic day. Take care.